Okay, let's have a look at this proof now. So like they suggested, assume that O is somewhere in the center. Now, um, perpendicular line here, perpendicular line here, perpendicular line here, 90, 90, 90. And they're equal. And they're equal because of the midpoint. And they're equal. And then I'll just make another line here. Going from here to the center O. That's O there. And there to the center. And then there to the center. Okay, now. Um, we'll call that angle A. And that one there will have to be A as well. It's symmetric, it's congruent. And we'll call that B and B. And then we'll call that C and that C. So this one here, we'll call this alpha. And this one here would be alpha. This would be beta. This would be beta. This would be gamma. And this would be gamma. So all the angles in the center, whoops, the center has to equal 360, which has to equal 2 alpha plus 2 beta plus 2 gamma, which means that alpha plus beta plus gamma has to equal 180. And alpha is equal to 90 minus A. So 90 minus A plus 90 minus B plus 90 minus C. That has to equal 180. Uh, those two 90s cancel with the 180. So I'm left with minus A, minus B, minus C, uh, plus 90 has to equal 0. So that means then that C has to equal 90 minus A minus B, which means C has to equal 90 minus A plus B. Uh, but here's the problem. You're told that angle at R is greater than 90, but A plus B is greater than 90. So what that means is that C will be negative and hence a contradiction. Okay.